No one expects a programmer to get work done without access to a computer, but there are many companies that expect programmers to get work done without access to their mind. Hey! Interruptions are the top productivity killer for most developers. Developers can't easily go back to where they were right before an interruption. They need to get into the mindset for development and then slowly trace back to where they left off. Sometimes this can take more than half an hour. More interruptions lead to more frustration, which in turn leads to less quality work and higher number of bugs. But what about meetings? The only difference between a meeting and an interruption is that a meeting is a planned interruption, which makes it even worse. Developers can't progress on a task if they know that they will have an interruption while working on it. So if they have a meeting in one or two hours, they will not be able to progress on anything as most engineering tasks take more time. Hey! All managers want their employees to be more productive, to collaborate more energetically and work more efficiently. But in pursuit of productivity goals, many managers start to micromanage their employees. They think close examination of a direct report's work will improve it. Sure, such scrutiny might reveal opportunities for improvement. Processes a developer could streamline, shortcuts he's taking that undermine quality, and shortcuts he's not taking that he should. But tread this path too often and any gains realized from process improvements will be offset by the effects of disengagement. What is disengagement? Fundamentally, it is a state of distance from one's work. A disengaged employee puts in time but little else, and his apathy affects not only his own productivity, but that of his colleagues. Because a consistent pattern of micromanagement tells an employee you don't trust his work or his judgment, it is a major factor in triggering disengagement. Hey! Vagueness is another productivity killer for any developer. There are many ways to illustrate vagueness. For example, a developer might receive a bug report with insufficient information to reproduce it, but with a demanding statement. It is broken, fix the bug immediately. Another example of vagueness is unclear specification on a feature. When a developer receives unclear feature requirements, he will start implementing what feels right to him, which might not be what a product manager intended in the first place. When the feature is shipped, it creates friction in the team, and the developer has to start all over again. Unclear prioritization also belongs in this category. A developer might decide to work on a task that might not be of top priority while ignoring more urgent tasks. This creates unnecessary friction and frustration in the team, which eventually hurts developers' productivity. Hey! This might seem strange to non-programmers, but the environment in which developers work has an important impact on their activities, as well as productivity. For instance, having some white noise, such as loud AC or cars passing by, helps developers stay in the flow and focus better. That is why so many of developers put headsets on. Tuning out of your immediate surroundings has been shown to increase focus on internal thinking processes. Similarly, if the workspace is designed to have as much motion as possible, that won't help them focus. Or having the desktop computer screens oriented in such a way that they are highly visible to the managers, well, that creates some extra stress and even more opportunities to be interrupted. Hey! Scope creep is another productivity killer for developers. For any project to succeed, a project team needs a clearly defined and agreed upon scope. Everyone involved should know what will be built and what is needed to get there. However, when things are not properly defined, the project ends up in a scope creep state. Scope creep in project management refers to uncontrolled changes in a project's scope. You see, change is inevitable in business and in life. And every project will face moments when you need to reassess what you're building and potentially adjust course. But if these moments aren't handled properly, scope creep can come in and balloon budgets, kill collaboration, and send even the best laid plans crashing into the rocks. It turns relatively simple requests into horribly complex and time-consuming monsters. And most of the time it happens during active development. All of this has a negative effect on developers' productivity. Hey! 
inadequate product development process might also negatively impact developers' productivity. The product development process encompasses all steps needed to take a product from concept to market availability. This includes identifying a market need, researching the competitive landscape, conceptualizing a solution, developing a product roadmap, building a minimum viable product, etc. If a product team defines its project priorities and product roadmap without ever validating the interest of the corresponding features through customer feedback or any other means, and the developers see that most features are eventually just not used, they will feel that what they do is useless and will lose their motivation. We all want to feel impactful, and that may be even more important to developers. Therefore, if a product development process is inadequate, the development team's productivity will eventually suffer. Hey! Unreasonable product development and delivery deadlines often result in developers' frustration and lead to lower productivity. Some product managers have the tendency to ask developers for estimates, then push them to lower those estimates as much as possible, and then magically consider them as deadlines. Managers might even share those deadlines with the upper management since the developers agreed and committed to those estimates. Not surprisingly, developers feel that they are being held accountable against unreasonably tight deadlines, which in turn creates tension and an inability to focus. Time pressures induced by unreasonable development schedule can definitely be a source of quality problems in product development in general and lead to developers' productivity loss. Hey! Lack of psychological safety can also lower developers' productivity. Google conducted a comprehensive multi-year internal study to identify the key factors that made their teams more effective. Psychological safety was far and away the most important of the five dynamics they found. So, what happens when that all-important psychological safety is absent in a tech team? People become afraid to take risks and innovate. They become more concerned with avoiding mistakes than achieving big wins. This is an absolute killer of developer productivity. Developers tend to be naturally curious, independent, creative, and inventive. When you take away their autonomy, they feel cramped and demotivated. When you let them relax and figure out things on their own, they blossom and work magic. In a well-functioning developer team, any team member should be able to go out on a limb and suggest radical ideas without fear of being ridiculed. Hey! Disregarding refactoring can also lower developers' productivity, especially in the long run. When a development team does not prioritize refactoring, it ends up with a technical debt, which will inevitably lead to low product quality. Technical debt is a deliberate decision to implement not the best solution or write not the best code to release software faster. Taking on some technical debt is inevitable and can increase speed in software development in the short run. However, in the long run, it contributes to system complexity, which slows the developers down. Non-programmers, who are responsible for product development, often underestimate the loss of productivity and are tempted to always move forward, and that becomes an issue. But if refactoring is never part of the priorities, it will not only impact productivity, but also product quality. Hey! Developers also acknowledge that some of the problems lie with themselves. Some programmers are bad at communicating and are not known for thinking of feelings. They can latch onto some technical argument like a pit bull locks onto a leg bone. It doesn't matter if the team is going to miss an important deadline or the client request won't be delivered. The programmers get hung up on the technical arguments. Programmers can often filter out each other's idiosyncrasies, but teams can fail when programmers knock heads. It is common for two people with different views on various technical topics, such as programming paradigms or architectural patterns, to end up on the same team. Decisions become referendums on everything these programmers have held dear, which inevitably leads to lower productivity. If you found this video useful, I would appreciate it if you smash the like button. Also make sure to subscribe to the Coding Tech channel and click on the notification bell.